Hey man, welcome back to the Super Divorce YouTube channel. Nicholas Villar is here, aka Super Divorce, and we are here for day uh, number 12, which means game number 12, of Madvent 4, end of the line. We're on train car number 2, this is going to be the final game of train car number 2, and it's going to be called Frostbite Forest Station, the halfway station in this experience of mad vent uh, and last chance to turn back is what it says now this is by Vladimir Hor we got wazd to move we got shift to run we got uh, zoom and that's it now snow dust city station was at the end of train car number one I believe is where that was and um, I didn't know when I played the first train station game that it's really just an experience. What we've got here is not, it's not another game per se, it's an experience. There's no objective to the train station other than you get to walk around and kind of take in the atmosphere and I didn't know that, like I said, when I played the Snow Dust City Station experience. I, uh, I walked around. Things aren't right here. Please listen to me. Time is running out. I walked around, looking around. I was, I was enthralled by the atmosphere, and, uh, and I loved the look of things, and, and there's giant cityscape in front of you a nice skyline and a cool train station there was snow coming down in that one and you know uh, I was like oh this is cool and I ran around looking and looking for things to do uh, for somewhere to go for some objective to complete and I got a little frustrated by the end of it because like I said I I didn't know it wasn't a real game I didn't know it was just an experience now that I know the train stations are just experiences to be had, I feel like I can wander through this station and uh, when I feel like I've seen everything, rather than getting frustrated and flustered and losing my shit a little bit, I'll just know to say, okay, well, we've seen it all and that's it for now. Okay, so let's look around and see what we got here. I hope Santa isn't like the one in that dream where you make fuel. Seems kind of mean. Ah, oh, she's referring to uh, Yuletide Machine. That was a fun game. That was a fun game to play. I like that one a lot. It's like uh, Christmas Iron Lung is how I would put it. So we got a cozy little cabin out here. What's this guy up to? What is he saying? I'm trespassing. Guess we can't go inside. And this seems to be the end of the line. We can't go any further down the road here. Let's walk over this way. That's the end of the line there. We can't we can't wander beyond uh, this invisible wall. I did say that I think in in Snow Dust City Station. Like I said, you're in the middle of like a downtown area, in the middle of a big city, and there are all these streets that look like they're wide open for your exploration, but you're stopped by invisible walls. I did say I didn't, I didn't like that. I still don't like that. I don't like it here either. This guy, the skull guy, says, I don't usually take this much time off. It's nice slowing down for a minute. Um, see, I, it's like invisible walls. Uh, I understand there's no jump button. There's no jump key. So, so you could have, uh, rather than just having an invisible wall, I feel like you could have put a, a gate or a fence up right here. You know what I mean? Something like that. And then even at the end of the road, you could have had like road closed with some cones or some of those like little traffic horses the fucking you know like the what are those called just like a blockade i don't know 
See, this this just bothers me. It's like, why can't I go forward? Why? There's no there's no in-game reason or inexperienced reason why I can't just walk forward. It's just an invisible wall. But again, if you just put a nice little wooden fence going down the way there, it's like, oh, okay, well, I can't jump over that. I'm just, I'm stuck. Right, let me turn around. So stuff like that. I don't like that. Right here. You could have replaced the cars zooming down the road with just, just a, a blockade of some sort. You could have had a car crash with debris littering the road there. A bunch of uh, car crash detritus. Instead, again, you want to run down the road, you can't do that. All right, whatever. Uh, can still see new spook cities glow. Wonder how far we'll have to go to escape it. So there's the city over there, I suppose. That's the glow he's talking about. And um, we'll uh, we'll see how far we can go in this direction. That seems to be about it. That's it. Can't go down the tracks any further than that. Was there a message on on this side, heading this ways, or was it just that guy? I guess just just that guy. And up here. Brainiac here says, at this rate, I'll be done with the 8-bit era this time next year. He's got himself a little handheld video game system there. Looks a little switchish. Glad to be out of the city. This guy doesn't have anything to say. Nice tunes playing. I like the tunes. Nice and relaxing. And that's good. I think that's about it. I think we saw all there is to see in this area. Actually, let me look at one more thing. Let me make sure that there's nothing around the other side of this cabin out here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Because I was able to go over here. Yeah. That's about it. Nothing going on there. Yep, guess we've, uh, yeah, I guess we've seen it all. So, um, a nice looking setting that's been put together here. Cozy, cool. You can imagine this right here. Maybe, uh, where's a good, good place to look? Get a little bit of that cabin right there. Like, that's cozy. With the music playing, you could imagine a 10 hour video of this on YouTube, and you just put it on while you're studying or uh, doing some work. That's cool. All right. That's about that. If you haven't done so, please sub to the channel, bong the gong for notifications so you know when new videos go live, so you know when I go live. Comment below if you have anything to say about this one. Uh, uh, like this video, share with your friends, share with all your pals. And um, I don't know. Follow me on Twitter at SuperDivorce, on Instagram at SuperDivorceBand. And I play music from time to time. If you'd like to check out some Super Divorce tunes, you can do so on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, wherever you stream your horse shit, you can find Super Divorce. Just type in Super Divorce, click on the song you're choosing, try it out. If you don't like it, try another one. And if you don't like that one, try another one again and again and again until you find one you do like, because I believe that there's a little something there for everybody in the Super Divorce catalog. So find something you like. Give it a shot, please. Till next time, everyone. Take real good care. Keep kicking ass. Love you lots. Lord willing, I'll be back very soon with another video for you to watch. Bye-bye.